never forgotten. Following the student's lead, Susie Bartels helped launch this walk, making it known we're all human. Everyone else has something that they're going through, and that's what, you know, the dialogue itself, that's what it helps so much is you're not alone and that someone cares. Someone's out there. Someone's there for you. To have a whole day like this, I, I guess it's, there's a deeper lesson than you get in a classroom, would you say? Yeah, definitely. For, t for the school to take out the time of the day for learning to spread this message and spread the awareness is great. This walk originated here at Woodgrove High School. It started last year and you can see every student, about 1,600 participate. This year it has since spread to other schools in the county. I wish every single school would be on board by this time next year, so we'll see. Let's hope. As the students near the walks end, they toss their cards into a pile. Proof they're not in this alone. Together they watch flames take hold of their worries encouraging them instead to keep pushing forward. In Percival, Virginia, David Culver, News 4. We've posted a link where you can donate or get involved with this effort, and you can go on the walk from a student's perspective. Just open the NBC Washington app and search suicide prevention. Several religious groups got together to rally outside the Supreme Court today. The justices heard oral arguments in a case from Missouri that pits a Lutheran church against the state. The court will decide whether states can prohibit spending tax dollars to support churches. This dispute began, began when Trinity Lutheran Church applied for money from a state program that fixes playgrounds. Officials in Missouri rejected the claim. Officials at Trinity say the decision infringes on their religious liberty. First.